All right, so in this video, we're gonna be looking at one of my favorite producers of all time and his production style, his sound, and how to kind of get influence from it and recreate it very accurately inside of FL Studio. Yeah, we're gonna drop some sauce today. This video is all about Wheezy. Let's get into it. So real quick, if you somehow don't know who Wheezy is, he is another Atlanta-based super producer in the same league with the likes of Southside and Metro Boomin. And for the last 10 years, Wheezy has been in the background producing for all of the biggest artists, responsible for some of their biggest hits to date. With his distinctive unorthodox drum patterns and textural bouncy melodies, Wheezy has cemented himself in rap history as one of the GOAT producers. So as you would have seen, I just made a crazy beat using the new kit synth experiments, which if you guys are interested in that, the link is down below in the description. Yeah, over 1500 sounds, seven kits, massive bundle, and of course, royalty free. So if you want to experiment with your sound and make better beats, then check it out, link down below. Let's get into it, man. Let's make something and explain exactly what we're doing so you guys can follow along. Yeah, I'm going to use synth experiments again for this beat just because it's just, it just has all the go-to sounds right there. This is the best place to go to for those crazy experimental Wheezy type sounds. So it's a lot of texture, a lot of bounce with the hard hitting drums on top. That's kind of how I would summarize Wheezy's sound. Yeah, we're going to start with the melodies, do the drums, and then just break it all down so you guys can get a better idea of how to go about recreating this sound. So let's go. My favorite way of using this kit and just making melodies in general, I would say is just 
compiling together different phrases and textures and then processing it all together and flipping it into something to put my drums over. So that's what I'm gonna start with. And because all of these phrases and layers and everything in this kit are all tuned to C, I can just drag and drop and get to my final result insanely quick, like 10 minutes. In terms of BPM, we wanna be in the 120s or slightly slower. I like 122. So yeah, as I said before, man, the key is texture and bounce. So this first sound has both of those things for sure. We've got a cool little rhythm going here. Put a little bit of reverb on it. Oh uh, yeah, the more space, the better as well. Space is a really important component of any good melody, but especially a wheezy melody, you know what I'm saying? It's got to have space, it's got to have pockets for vocals and different elements to come in and out, you know what I'm saying? So, so by deleting that first sound here, we've created like an unexpected pocket and like room for other stuff. That's sounding hard. We've got the melodic side down now. We've got like a nice little progression there um, because you can't just drop phrases in. That's the thing. Like a lot of people do that. They just throw the phrases in and put drums on it. And, and every now and again, that can work. But honestly, for the most time, it just, it just sounds like a lot of nothing. There's no like melodic element kind of binding it all together. <laughs> chorus on that just to make it sound a bit more vintage maybe even a bit of a delay as well Ooh. get rid of a bit of this low end we can keep a little bit of it which is nice but not not too much four or five sounds is normally enough so yeah it's, it's, it's sounding crazy but i can't lie let's do another section where we have like none of this element up here and then we do it again without that Now we've kind of got a bunch of different sections here. One there, one there, one there, one there, all with slight variations. We can now bounce this as a whole, which is, which is what I like to do. So we can mess around with the key, rip C. That sounds really good in E. That sounds like some gunner type shit. Yeah, drums, man. We need those wheezy type drums. For me, my kind of go-to drum kit at the moment is this Venexi one. Um, this is this has like the sort of like standard like go-to trap sounds in it for me. You know what I'm saying? That I get them from here. But if I want to get something a bit more creative, then I'm just gonna go back into synth experiments because it actually has a drum kit inside of it called Analog Drums. So if you're looking to really experiment with some jump sounds, then I recommend you look in this folder because it's crazy. Like even the 808s, the effects, it's, it's a great folder. So you need like a hard snare and then like this tight one to use as like a counter snare because Weezy always does these like crazy counter snare things. So if we just have the normal snare on the free, like that. And then we could do a counter snare. And what I like to do is a little roll potentially. Slower one there, so maybe like this. I could even bring the velocity up like that. Same thing here. Need a hi hat to something nice and tight like that. I'll start with a two-step, but I'll kind of take away a lot of hi-hats. See, just by taking away that one sound there, it makes it so much more bouncy, right? Before, and then now. We can make this one a roll. Leading into the snare. Time shift it. Then we can make this last one a crazy roll like. Yeah. 
<laughs> just kind of have fun with the bounce really that's the only rule of farmers just make it interesting make it cool but you know obviously don't overdo it i think this is great uh let's do an 808 see if we're gonna be a zay or a spins for this one I think as a uh, this time real like rule of thumb with the 808 is just make it hit and that really just means turn it up I might go back to the melody and just play with it a little bit now I've got the drums in I'm starting to hear certain things that I don't really like I like that. Yeah, just, just that small change, man. Sometimes when you hear shit with the drums, you just kind of figure out how it's supposed to sound, you know, so. Might pitch this down an octave. And then I'll have this as like a bridge section. Oh, this will sound so cool. It's like really textured. And I'm going to do a synth bass over this. This is quite a go-to one for us. I might move this over a little bit like that. Yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll split these drums here by channel. So I've got all the individual elements kind of separated out. Yeah, like this. I might use uh, the modular textures folder right here to just put in a couple little like sound effects and glitches and stuff. Little riser with this. Woo! That's it right there. Simple. Yeah, kind of ticks all the boxes for a wheezy type beat. So yeah, hope you learned something new and uh, enjoy this little bonus cook up. I like that little loop, that's kind of cool. Can I start the drum bounce, but I'm not going to do any loads of it. I just want to start it so, I, so you know what I'm thinking. This is fucking hard. This is fucking hard. Right. Ha, 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 ha.